So if I can find my gloves, where I live in it. Disappeared. Like I said, you gotta get the, the tractor lined up properly. I'm not quite square with this, but as I get it up, I'll be able to push this a little bit and uh, get it into place. But this is the only thing that holds on this 260B. There's one on each side and then two pins down there at the bottom that it kind of sits and cradles in. And those are what are hard to line up. They're very tight tolerances, maybe less than a, definitely less than a half inch, but probably less than even a, a quarter inch. Either way means whether or not you're going to get that thing on there and on there secure. So first thing to do is disconnect the, the power beyond. Trip how you draw it, put it all over that on place. Get those once once over clean. It really does help try to get those things back on there if they're cleaner. Uh, helps it kind of lock in place a little bit better. Now my backhoe has been sitting on the ground for, I don't know, probably a month maybe, but you can see that there's no pressure in there. I'm able to hook that up with hardly any effort. The bottom one is usually the one that gives me a little bit of trouble. Got a little bit of dirt on it. Get cleaned off. I think a lot of times I have trouble with with that bottom connection just because there's just not enough length of core both from the power beyond and from the back of But get this thing stood back up standing up where I can then back into it and hopefully get it squared up to the tractor. A little bit under it. remember to shift to neutral.
know it's probably not good on it. But you, I mean, I'm talking, you got a very narrow window of where you have to place it. push down on the boom that's going to tilt this back into the tractor and get those pins lined up as if I'm in the bottom groove there Get a little much No slide right down inside of there. You're supposed to. Push up a little bit. You see, once you get it lined up, they just slide right into place. I did that wrong. Those are supposed to come from the inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's a little channel right here. This pin goes down into and lock into. Lock is probably a relevant term, but when this, this rod here slides down in that slot, and then it can't, it can't go back and forth. So that's basically how you get that sucker back on there. The, uh, fantastic camera work that I've got going on tonight but now I'm going to release the pressure from this okay I'm going to leave my arms down just in case something's not right where it's going to be at put the weight on the tractor able to pick the boom up tuck the bucket tuck the dipper and then bring my arms up Locked in and ready to go. So I was able to make this video in eight minutes. And it's a little bit quicker, you know, if I'm not doing that. But highly, highly versatile machine being able to take that on and off, put three point attachments on when I need to. Same thing with the quick attach bucket on the front. It just makes life so much easier being able to transform this thing into whatever job I need it to do.